Hey, what's up everyone? Upstart here with Rise Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Moonlighter. Now, in the previous episode, we were pretty much looking at um, the weapons that in the... What's it called? The, the Forge, Vulcan's Forge, or the Blacksmith, whatever, that uh, I wanted to craft. Mainly because we needed something better than our our current weapons. Also, we needed armor. Um, so all these things are on my wish list right now. I haven't changed anything. I haven't brought anything off of it. Um, I put the potion on the wish list just to have it like get the the jelly. What is it called? Jelly something slime, whatever. Uh, jelly flesh or something like that to get that uh, starred. Um, let me just go into these and show you guys something. Uh, not there. This one. Uh, something like that. What is it called? Rich jelly. Yeah, that. Just to get the item starred. So, like, everything that I have starred is for things on the wish list. So, as you all can see right now, I, I did mention I was going to go into the the dungeon on my own. So I can farm a bunch of these things. Because I'm like, I didn't want to, like, just um, waste all your time. I, I know I waste your time a lot. Uh, but mainly, not to just, like, make two or three episodes of just me going into the dungeon and collecting resources. Uh, I didn't want to do that, so I did this on my own. Okay, as you guys can see, as you all can see, um, I have a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I actually put the broom in there now because it's I'm not using it as a weapon anymore. Uh, I'm gonna switch it real quick right there. I'm actually using I don't know what this is called. What is it? Let's check it out over here. Uh, training bow. So I had that on my wish list as well. Let's go. Where is it? Right here. Uh, have the hunter bow but also the training bow because I wanted to make this because I didn't know which, what exactly I wanted to uh, use or maybe I could like carry multiple weapons on me like maybe a bow and then maybe I don't know a, a long reach weapon kind of like maybe these long swords I don't like this I'm not really a spear guy um, the the broom is like a spear in a way um, I didn't like that so maybe the sword would be a little better just in case I needed something with a longer reach that wasn't a spear so that's the only thing really available and you know this is kind of short um, short range I'm guessing with the defensive these are I guess it's like kind of like the broom but for like um, close really really close range and then there's the long range so I put all that on my wish list but I managed to get it in the dungeon uh, by killing some of the there were some skeletons in the corner I, in some corners I didn't even I wasn't even aware of that I just uh, just uh, decided to you know what let's just hit this and I and I hit um, you know, attack it I attacked the skeleton in, in oh, multiple skeletons in the, the in my runs and I got multiple things I got another pair of of uh, we, of what is this things called sword and shield short sword training short sword yeah with the shield so I have one in this inventory you can see and then one in that top right hand corner that I actually have equipped um, oh I forget that I don't want to do that um, that back. <laughs> okay, uh, I got that, and I got the training bow. Um, I think I may have gotten other stuff, but I don't think there were weapons. I think that was about the only two weapons I managed to get: the sword, the short sword, and the training bow. So I don't have to make the training bow anymore. Um, actually, so I have a tra an extra sword. I, I can either um, sell the swords, or I can just make um, what is it called? I can just make the other, because uh, this is the rusty sword is goes after that one, right? The soldier short sword, yeah. So, so the training one, e either you upgrade it to this one or you upgrade it to that one. You need you need both, so you need so you need to have uh, two two short swords, two training short swords as part of the uh, recipe to make either or. So it's one and one. So that's so I'm probably gonna go with that, make both of them because I already have them, or I could sell it. Uh, I don't know how much it would sell for. According to the book, uh, the sword seems to be something somewhere around a thousand at the very least, because it has to be at least that much because that's how much it costs to upgrade, right? To upgrade to the next tier, so it has to be at least about a hundred, maybe, uh, to because I, don't, I mean to make it, not to upgrade. Uh, let's see, if we get out of here, so we have a bunch of stuff right here uh, in our inventory right now, and I really don't have. I really can't go back into the dungeon for for uh, for more material because I just have too much. So I ha either I have to sell stuff or get rid of things somehow. So let's go into here. Uh, where is it? The shield. So yeah, right there. So it costs a thousand. That's what I meant. I didn't mean to the upgrade part. I meant this part. 
to make the shield, it costs at least a thousand plus materials. So I'm guessing it, the cost to sell it, it's at least a thousand. That's just me being, you know, just me thinking of, like, I'm seeing that it says a thousand right there uh, to make and then plus materials. So like, it has to be at least that much, right? I don't know if I'm right, but that's just me. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna make a, quite a few things right now. I also want to show you all something uh, that I kind of sort of messed up in. Um, I want to apologize right now. Because uh, I did want to, you know, show you all. Uh, oh, my bad. So that guy has something to tell me. Uh, I'll probably come back later. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go into a dungeon, but I'm gonna, as soon as I come, I'm just gonna show you all something, and then when I'm come, when I come back out, I'm just gonna um, reload back at the shop. I, I don't really want to. Oh, it's saved. Oh, okay. So I can't really reload. Okay, that kind of sucks. Um, but right now, real quick, you're gonna notice that the name. Look at the name. Golem Dungeon. Oh, one. Okay. All right. It's weird because I remember that I had actually beaten the first the first section. Actually. Okay. I guess it's not that bad anymore. I guess I don't feel that bad anymore because I could just do it again. Um. But it should probably be in my thing right here. Where is it? Oh, it's not in here anymore. Or where is it? Oh, there it is. That right there. Bone Sword. Uh, this I I think this is something called a Trick Weapon. Um, this is um, something I think I think this this from the DLC that uh, between dimensions uh, DLC so if you don't have it that you probably won't uh, have these um, where there are can I get out of here okay where um, I can leave right so there's these sparkles that in some rooms you can find them I'm just trying to find it real quick without having to stay in the room if I don't have to stay in there I'll get out of here okay so I'll get out of here for now um, this one I have to stay, okay. So there was these, uh, um, like, green blobs rather than sparkles, uh, that would appear, um, sometimes in one room. And that right there was, like, to go to, like, some other dimension kind of thing. It's definitely part of the DLC. Uh, just grab everything. It looked like something fell for some reason. So I don't have to stay there. Oh yeah, that was fell. That really fell. So I'm just gonna go over to the next side. Okay, there's nothing of interest here. There's no skeletons either. Ah, things are gonna fall. They fell. Well, whatever. I don't really have that much space, anyways. Uh, so it's not. It wasn't here. Okay, there's a skeleton right there. I wonder if I can destroy that one. Yeah. So there you go. I didn't know I could do that. And there's something on it too. Read, read. The golems lurking amongst these stone walls, sturdy. Oh, stone walls are sturdy, but other combat abilities are clumsy and easy to predict. Okay, so it's not really something of interest. <laughs> it's just like a little. I don't know. I don't know if it could be considered lore. I do need those uh those water things. I forget what they're called. That's good that I get them. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep them, but. Let's go. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's still monsters in these rooms, obviously. Oop, oop, oop. I forget. Oh, I forgot! I meant to. I didn't mean to switch weapons, I meant to use a potion. They got me. They got me! Oh, that one's holding jelly. Alright, that's why it wasn't attacking me. Because I haven't seen any of them. Come on, I'm trying to get. Okay, let's get let's get this guy out of there. Oh, oh that's what this is for. Come on, just shoot him from afar. Shoot him from. I know I can. There's a charging mode. If I were to hold the X, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, not that way. Face the other way. And it kind of goes through it, and it does like maybe two hits or three hits or something. I don't know. It's at 40, so I'm guessing that's two hits from a regular one. Okay, so I've I've learned my lesson now. That and wherever you find this uh, healing spring or something, on the next room is the boss. Um, so what I had done to get that trick weapon, uh, where is it? Right there, bone sword. It's actually a short sword. Um, I got it uh, when I went into that. Um, uh no, come on, get out of here. When I got into the area, oh, I haven't found that chisel before. I need that for sure. Um. 
where that green blob took me down like to a secret room kind of thing hidden room kind of thing and um, and I went in there and last time we try uh, we tried that and we actually couldn't beat it because there was this kind of there was this monster weird monster that I don't know either it didn't take a uh, regular physical attack so there was a trick to beat to beat him and anyway, I couldn't beat him um, so that was actually not the I don't think that was the boss I think what that was was like a pre preliminary like uh, or new monster that was ah come on I'm stuck and we couldn't beat it so we couldn't go any further but what I did manage to do was on another run I went in there and I'm like I had I think I'm like oh, I've, be, I've beaten this enough many times I'm like I'm, uh, this, is too, this is too easy for me now right that's what I thought of course um, and there's something wrong with the things uh, in my inventory because I think this thing here right here has something yeah it destroys an artifact so that's gonna destroy that if I go back to town and that's gonna destroy this one that one has to remains hitting until I get out of here so this I should probably move to this corner so it doesn't have anything to destroy okay uh, destroy oh this one destroys an artifact curse okay so what I can do is go with that and then either I can leave that one in that corner or I can remove the curse off of one of these so that they don't have to be necessarily on on like those like the because this curse says that they have to be placed on either this bottom or the top so I just remove that one all right anyways there we go that green blob that's over there I went into that and I actually got to the part where I had where I had to fight a boss a, a giant slime kind of thing um, it wasn't like giant I guess because I think there is a golem boss and it's supposed to be something like a slime but not not like that I didn't go to that part uh, I went to the end of it was it here I just want to make sure I'm, I fall in the right spot because I don't want to die so let's go over here right here drop into there come on okay so I went into that and I had made it all the way to the end and I fought like a boss kind of thing kind of like the golem warrior uh, where it had the big bar of hell um, it obviously wasn't something super strong and I was it was I tried it I'm like you know what let me try it I'm like I'm like I couldn't I couldn't really beat the well, I didn't feel like I could go up against the golem warrior but I'm like I tried my luck against it because mainly because I already had I had the training bow at the time I, I, I had just gotten it on that run and I decided to go for it and I actually managed to beat it and I got that broken sword uh, um, trick weapon. It's called a trick weapon because it has a ton. I think it's called that because it has a ton of uh, a ton of uh, attack. As you can see right there on the right right hand side, that panel, uh, 3,500 attack. But there's a catch. It only works while you're in the dungeon. So when you leave the dungeon, poof, it disappears. Um, so you, you have to go into that and then get it from a boss and what you can do is like continue like uh, going through the dungeon but I think if you uh, I think I have to leave now uh, I'll just leave um, so you would have to stay in the dungeon I guess you could go as far as you can I don't I think I had it when I uh, I still had it when I went after the boss I beat it I still had it and I was uh, on the set that second uh, where you, on the top where it says escape with pendant uh, where it has the, the bar with the four dots and I have I'm on the first like floor or something and then the last one the fourth floor would be like the boss uh, I had jumped to the second one and and I still had it so I'm guessing it would be something like that you would keep until you either died and got out and got kicked out or you left with the pendant maybe um, so yeah I had that and I'm like I kind of didn't want to go any further because I needed to, you know, kind of. I, I kind of needed needed to get it on camera, and I'm like, uh, I just, I was just, I was just getting materials. I wasn't even trying to be like a hero thing, trying to go all that, you know, all that way. Anyways, uh, during those um, dungeon runs that I that was, you know, just getting materials for, I managed to get three of these. Uh, I'm guessing they're like pets or something I don't know what the heck I could do with them because it says on the bottom it says A to select B to go back and Y to close but I select them and nothing happens I hit the A I'm, I'm pressing A just like I'm spamming I'm spamming it 
and nothing happens. I'm, I don't know if they're just like little like trinket pets kind of thing just to have there for like decoration. I don't know. Because they have, they do have like a, a, what's it called? They have a description down there where it says that they actually do something. This one says Sentinel turret unable to shoot constant stream of water. So it's kind of like the those uh, cauldrons with that sh like shoot like water bullets. A flying golem made to collect materials and repair golems with them. So it's kind of like the one that takes away the the loot that they leave on the ground or something. And a tiny a tiny slime. We already know this one. But it says that it gives the stun effect to its master's weapon, and then these all these uh, other slimes have stuff like that: the poison effect, the burning effect, and the shock elect electrifying effect. Uh, when I got them, they were eggs. They they were called whatever the the thing is. Let's say golem turret, and it was called egg. It just had the uh, the egg uh, suffix, I think it's called. Yeah, at the end of it. So I have three. I got three of those. There's not really much I figured out of for them. Um, but anyways. Let's continue before I just ramble on too much. So, um, apparently, I don't know if it was because I managed to beat that that, that first like mini boss um, that this unlocked. I had not paid attention to this any the, the this uh billboard or uh, what are they called? It's called something else, right? Um, bulletin board. That I think that's what it's called. And I hadn't seen that this dude was here. This guy was here. Um. Uh, I can't unlock them because it costs 5,500. It says Lee or Le Retailer. I would say I would think Lee is either L I or L double E. That says Le to me. Anyways, tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to Le Retailer. Or I'm just gonna go. With, yeah, yeah, Le, Re Le Retailer. It's kind of like a French thing, right? Uh, where you'll find the finest items in Renoka, Le Retailer, because Le Retailer, because life's complicated enough. It's kind of like a slogan right at the end. Um, so he sells, I guess he sells um, loot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a cut here because I don't want to bore you all too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check on this guy and just create some new weapons with the materials I've gotten. Uh, mainly the weapons that I don't have yet. I may or may not make another training bow. I'm like, I could probably get another one. The way I got the this the the other sword, I uh, can't switch it out right now. Um, so yeah, we're on day ten. Uh, so I did take I did go in like four or five times or something because last time in the last episode we were on day seven, but it was night time, and now we're on day ten. So and we started this one up on day nine. So I got it. I went I went in once more, and it became the eighth in the morning. I went in again, and then it was the ace on the eighth on the nine. And then two more for this one, so yeah, it's kind of like two, two, uh, with the one that I just did right now, pretty much, and the, the last one from that one. So yeah, we went in like five times now. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do that, make a few weapons. Hopefully, I make all my equipment. I want to make. Anyways, let's. You know what? Let's do it once, just at least so I can show it off real quick. Uh, I start the fabric. I want to go with the fabric because it gives me speed. It does. I could go with that, but it removes speed, and then I could go with this, um, where is it, this one, and it gives me more health, but I think I'd rather go something more balanced, with which is the fabric. So let's just make this once. Uh, you don't have enough gold! Oh, look at that, ain't that nice? That make me look real stupid on the internet. But anyways, eh, happens all the time. It's not the first time I've, uh, I've done something like that, it's not the first time I've, I've, um, I've embarrassed myself, but no big deal. Uh, so I'm just gonna make a cut, I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I don't really feel like it needs to be in this episode because we've already seen how this whole selling process goes. Uh, what we need to, what I need to show off mainly is, you know, more adventurous stuff. So I'll make a cut here, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alrighty, everyone. So we're back now. I think it's been two days now. Uh, we were on the tenth, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I may be, and we may be on. We, yeah, I think we were on the tenth. Yeah. So we're on the twelfth. It's night time. Um, right now I just finished up uh, selling the last thing that I planned on selling for now. I did ha I did go back into the dungeon once or I think two times uh, to get some more materials. And right now I think we're we're good. So something I figured out, or oh, not really figured out, something I like um, just by chance. So what happened was that what I had was the eggs. 
um, I since the name had changed on like right on right above there where these mo where the, the creatures are, uh, where it says the name Flying Golem, um, since it didn't say it was still an egg, I was very confused as to what was going on. So now, uh, um, just uh, this morning of this day, of course in game, um, I saw that the slime over there and then the flying golem, uh, they were like moving around, and I'm like, wait, what? And I was like thinking, I'm like, oh yeah, they were eggs, and I'm like, oh, so they have to hatch, so you have to wait like maybe a few days. It's been it's been several days, I think, since I last got them. Since about the I got them around the seventh or eighth of the calendar. Um, and the two of them just hatched, uh, the slime and the flying golems hatched on the 11th, I believe. And on that morning, they were hatched, uh, I believe. I don't know about the 10th. Um, but uh, this one right here, the what is it called? The golem turret, that one just hatched just now. It wasn't hatched uh, when, I, when I started selling. Or did it? Oh, it's, it hatched this morning when I came back from the, from the uh, what's it called? From the dungeon. Um, so this leads me to uh, have some ideas and I'm like because they do do damage I can equip it uh, like this and then they follow me around they go into the dungeon with me and then they fight with me uh, at least this one did because it's the one I took with me because it was the one that just flies around I'm like uh, I don't know if they'll fall into the pits or anything so I, I just decided to go with the flying one um, it it does attack the monsters but they don't it doesn't attack that often and and it um it does pick up materials but it doesn't pick them up very often either um so i don't know another thing oh yeah the idea that i had was um do they continue growing and do they upgrade or level up in some way i don't know uh, i'm gonna continue carrying this guy or, or maybe i should go with the other one since this guy right here um is like a long range this one's more of a uh Com uh, close combat, but uh, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna stick with this one, or maybe I should test out that one. Yeah, I'll test that one out. Sure. Uh, I just know this. I, the slime gives a, a buff to my weapon or something like that. So I've gotten enough money. I've got 19k right there. Um, I, I when I had first gotten the 4400 that I needed for the first, uh, I didn't. I, I thought I needed 4400 for something. I don't know. Anyways. The 4,000 that I needed for the first item, um, I had thought, you know what, let me make it now. And I'm like, you know what, and I was going to start up the recording again, but I was like, no, you know what, let me wait, let me make more, let me go back into the dungeon again, make more money, uh, get more materials, blah, 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 because I actually didn't need more. I, I'm not sure if, I did, if I'm going to have enough, because I think I was short, like, three or something uh, of fabric for all the equipment, but hopefully I can make all of this. So I just, you know, I was just uh, thinking maybe I should just do everything in one go. At least the armor. So let's make that. Are you sure you want to craft fabric bandana? Yes. Alright, so we unlock this one. Um, so the uh, the things that I've been selling are mainly things that are not for the things that are for like the for making the art uh, my equipment or upgrading my equipment or anything like that. And then I looked in here and like there's a bunch of other things that I don't know what they're for if they're useful or or uh, or not. Like golem cores, the white stones, the broken swords, and stuff like that. Um, I came in here and checked, and there's nothing here. And I'm like, these all look like they're like materials from the next uh, area or new area. Like maybe this one would be for forest stuff. This one's for the desert, or I don't know, the next dungeon, the next type, or whatever. Yeah, so that's that. So I made that one now. Our next one is this one. Oh, I think I'm gonna be short one. I think I'm gonna be short one um, one fabric. So make that. Cause I think it required six for the next one. The the boots. Yeah, six. So I'm short. I'm short one. Well, too bad. What can I do? Um, so I can't upgrade to either one of these. One requires something that I have no clue what it is because I haven't seen it before. And this one requires three more chisels. Obviously it could tell me, right? Uh, rune tool. Okay, I don't know where I get that. So I'm short rune tool. And I'm short three chisels here. So I can't do anything there. 
Mm, I can't make that. Oh, that's where I needed the broken swords for. Huh, I'm stupid. And I've been selling the vines as well. Okay. I hadn't seen that one. Oh, I know why I hadn't seen it because it's not even on my wish list. Oh, oopsie. That's why I hadn't seen it before. It's not on my wish list. My bad. Okay, so I don't care about those. And yeah, that I had put this one, but I didn't. So I could make that to test it out. I probably should. Just so I can make some space. I already have that, so I probably don't need it on my wish list. Um, X. Yeah, remove that. I don't need that. I need these. I no longer need that one on my wish list. What I need is that one. So, change that up. What I need is... I can't wish, la wish list that one because I don't have... I haven't unlocked it. So we're going to leave that. I'm going to have to go back into the dungeon right now. Obviously, I'm going to do it off camera to not, to not waste too much of your precious time. Uh, and uh, hopefully I get I come back with fabric. And I'm going to try to do so. And now that I know I need to keep the vines and, and, uh, and broken swords, well, I will do so. <laughs> at, le at least it's just five. It's not that terrible, right? Okay, so we can make that. So I'm going to take that off the wish list. Oh, I'm going to make it. And I'm going to test them out and see how they work. And that will decide if I want to or not uh, make get the upgraded versions of those. Or just stick with the with the short swords and shields. I don't know. I have to go with... I have to have a couple of weapons. Anyways, I'll be right back with you. Oh, wait. Hold on. One last thing. One last thing. This guy has something else to tell me. Xenon or Zenon? Oh, isn't that? Why? Why are you gonna talk to uh, talk about yourself? Me? Oh, who wants to know anything about this old grouch? I was a merchant, just as you are, just like your grandfather. Or I ran a more humble shop than your grandfather's moonlighter. Than your grandfather's moonlighter, though. He was the ambitious one. I just needed enough for the pub each night, but he wanted more. More for his daughter, more for his grandson. Oh, his passing. I promised to look after you. And that has kept me plenty busy these past couple years. Okay, so that was it. Um, I was thinking of just making a cut and then come back. But I'm probably going to end the episode here. And I'm going to go into the dungeon on my own and then come back after I have the materials for what things I need. Yeah, so that's going to be it for now. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that like button if you liked the episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.